back in the water here. See you, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see behind me, we're out here on a little stream. It's a little mountain stream, actually, and it's April 2nd, so opening day for Maine fishing was yesterday, and we're out here trying to catch some native Maine brook trout on this little mountain stream. I've been fishing for a little while. I haven't really caught anything yet. I had one that I lost, and we just landed this one right here. I'm just using a little Walmart special. I'll link it down in the description below. It's a four foot six Shakespeare micro series, tiny little rod. I'll show you. It's like a small little ultralight. And then I have a small little 500 size Shimano reel on there. Two pound test mono. And we're using small little jigs like this, tipped with maggots. So this is trickle troutin'. Did bring the net with me. I know you guys are gonna give me crap for using the net. But the only reason I'm really using this net is so I can show the fish to you. Otherwise, I'd pull them in, leave them in the water, unhook them, and let them go. But uh, I want to keep them in the net so I can kind of give you guys a shot at them um, before I release it. There's some beautiful fish in here. Let's see if we can hook into a few. Let's go. Right here looks like a good spot. Yeah. Right up in there. Alright, this looks like a pretty good spot right here. Nice big hole. Try to kind of keep out of the sun here. Ooh, there was one. Okay, that's a good spot right here. The only thing that sucks is the sunshine right in there. It's a good spot, but I'm on the wrong side for the shadows. Like... There's one. Ooh, a nice one. A really nice one. Get in here, buddy. Yes. Wow. That's a nice fish, guys. All right, guys, check out this fish. This thing is a stud. Look at that beauty. He's probably seven inches or so. Let him go here. Right back into the same hole we took him out of. goes sick it's been a little bit of a grind here i really expected to have a lot more fish on the table but that one was worth coming for that was a nice fish for this uh little stream I and mean, you guys can see right here it's not very big it's a trickle caught him right underneath this tree right in that little undercut bank there underneath that tree a little bit that was a pretty nice fish for this little stream so we'll keep fishing see if we can get a few more you can see that my shadow right here this is not how you want to fish this hole, but I already caught that fish out of it. I kind of crouched down and uh, kept my shadow out of the hole there so I didn't spook any fish. I'm also trying to stay out of the stream as much as possible, so when I do have to cross the stream, I'll try to step on some of the larger rocks that are out of the water. Or I, I just don't want to get into their little habitat there and disturb any of their spots that they're hiding in, move rocks around and stuff like that, so I don't want to stress them out any more than I have to. This is literally just dabbling. You're not casting, you just gotta kinda, you just got a handful of line. And I like to keep my hand on the line usually like this so I can feel the strike, because it's so light. You could use, you could even use a small fly rod for this. Keeping it short is good because it's, when you get a longer rod out here in the smaller streams like this, it's just a pain to try to manage. Nice and short, you swing it up in there. It's basically your own nymphing for the most part, keeping the line pretty tight, letting it drift down through the run here, down through the hole, make a few passes and move on. If they don't bite right off, chances are they're not going to. Gotta be fishing here, dude.
Let's see if we can shoot one right in here. I can kind of sneak up here a little bit. There's one. Really nice. Pretty fish. Sweet. You. Look at that. So I've been fishing for a couple hours now and I thought it was going to be a little better than this but I'm not I'm not disappointed at all. We've got some nice fish so far. Um, I got a couple more spots that I want to fish right down here and uh, hopefully we can pull another another couple out but I think this early morning kind of like weird lighting hasn't been helping too much because it's it's pretty bright on the water as you can see and if you have the sun behind your back when you're walking up here you can cast a shadow on the stream so I've had to been real careful about where I'm walking, uh, how I approach each little hole that I'm fishing. So I don't think that's helping me all that much. And I think, you know, they're not they're not really going to be out in the sun like that. They're going to be kind of tucked in in the shade a little bit. So, but that's all right. We're catching fish. So let's go see what we can get down here. Let's try this one. Yeah, nice and low here. Oh, there's one. Here we go. Nice there we go. Sweet. Get him out of here. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed that. It's good to get out, get some open water fishing done. If you guys want to see more trickle trout videos, leave a comment down below and we'll get out and do some more. Please subscribe if you haven't already, because every new subscriber equals one new subscriber. Thank you guys, we'll catch you in the next video.